this next game that we're going going to be playing, I found a very similar way again to Juice Galaxy or Juice World. I'm still not sure what 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 it's called. The folder and the executable are named slightly differently. I'm assuming Juice Galaxy. Now that you go into space and there's more things. Mm -hmm. My friend showed me the song first, and they were like, "Hey, check out this like song. It's crazy. It's really really cool." And I was like, all right, I'll check out the song. And boy, oh boy, does this, long, does this song slap. It's Flying Pan by Cameron Glinix. Listen to this. Just listen. That's so good. And you don't expect songs like, you know, to sound this good. Coming from a weird game, right? But this is from a, this is from a game soundtrack, and so I had to figure out what this game soundtrack was, and I found out, you know, because I finally found the YouTube link to it, and I found it's from a game called Arctic Eggs, which is what we're going to be playing today. And really listen to this song, really listen to the composition of it, listen to the bass go, listen to the improvisation in those notes, listen. Oh. You know what I mean? It's just so good. It flows so well. And they're really enjoying it. You, you can tell that they're just enjoying just, just jamming out to it. What's crazy is that this is a game is fairly new too. This game only came out, I want to say, two or three weeks ago. Um, and again, I found it just through through the song my friend showed me, and I was like, "This is this is a crazy good song." I wonder what the game is going to sound like, or like like or like what, what what the game even is. Okay, again, just like Juice World, Juice Galaxy, we have no clue what this game is going to be like. We're just gonna go in blind, cause boy oh boy, is this song amazing! And then the drums come in. Listen, 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 and just oh, the drums, the guitar. It carries the rhythm and the improvisation on that keyboard. Listen, listen, listen. Oh. Damn. That's good. That's really, really good. It's so good. It's so good. And every single song from this album, as far as I can tell, is very similar in terms of like the execution. Again, I said it before for different games, but games, despite them being interactive mediums, if you can do the audio-visual portion of it very, very well, I think that in itself can be a very strong hook, you know, just as it is, right? The interaction may be very simple, but if you excel at those two portions, I, I, I think you can still end up with something very, very special. Music has a very strange power to sort of instill in you a certain kind of feeling, you know? Instill in you this like sense of like something, right? And so the song being this good, for a game that I haven't even played, but yet it makes me want to play the game, because like, what kind of game can possibly accompany this like song? You know that it's probably going to be something special. It's a great candidate for today's weird game uh, series. Do I know Jujutsu Kaisen? I do know it. Not that I've watched much of it, but I do know it. I haven't watched too much of it. I've heard second season's been okay too. Sorry, I, I had to switch the uh, game. Oh god. What is that noise? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh huh. That's good. That's a really good guitar uh, thing. Like, whatever the lingo is, it feels. Good, my resolution is absolute ass. My resolution is awful. Why is it so bad? I mean, my, my, my sensitivity. Uh, this doesn't feel real. This feels really slow. And why are there so many chickens? Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. The game is called Arctic Eggs, but like, why are there so many? Again, I have no clue what this game is about. I have that. This is not here. This is not a scary game, right? This is. Hey. Uh, left click. 
Can you fry eggs on top of Mount Everest? I don't know. I don't think so. As the bottom cooks, the top would just freeze. Something to remember next time. After your attempt to escape. To escape? What do you mean? I, I installed all of your main functions. Oh, you uninstalled all of my main functions. I'm a robot. You only have two modes left. Walk and cook. <laughs> yeah, this this the game's going for that. Okay, this 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 game's really leaning into the fact that there are eggs in in the Arctic. Let's see if both are working properly. Make me an egg. I want both sides cooked. What? As always. Oh god. Left click to drop the egg. Rotate the pan with your mouse. Um, this is impossible. The sensitivity is so low. Use the scroll wheel to adjust your rotation strength. Oh, there we go. This is easier now. There we go. Okay, okay. What? Oh, here we go, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can do this. No sleeping, but you have to sleep now? No worries. Have a good night and sleep tight. Yeah, this, this is a this is a weird one. I don't really know what they what they think about this. This is also very 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 loud. Sorry, let me lo let me lo lower the volume. Maybe lower sound effects and go this. There we go. Because the music is too good not to not to hear. I think. Oh god. Oh. Yo. I don't know why you would flip eggs like that. Why the two? Uh. Oh, the chimney is heat to cook the food. Okay, well, why the two eggs? Wait, 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 rotate the pan. Okay, rotate the pan. Okay. With your mouse. Rotate the pan with your mouse. Okay. Generates heat to cook food. So you have to rotate it to make heat. Oh! Well, I failed it. It, it lagged. I don't know why it lagged. Use a scroll to adjust your rotation strength. Right? Right? Have you flip the egg when it's ready? Well, I have two eggs. What what do I do? What do I do? I have two eggs. Huh. Oh! I have two eggs. This is not good. This is not good. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> I lagged out and it flipped. Easy. No! Oh! No, please. Please, no. Please, no. Please, 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 please. This is, okay, now I see why the music is so good. You have to get into like a trance to be able to flip these eggs. Like, well. Why are there so many eggs? <laughs> why are there so many eggs? Why are there three eggs? Uh-huh. Why are there three eggs? Why? Why are there three eggs? Okay, okay, so it, it, okay, so it cooked. When do I flip the egg? Like, how, how do I know if it's ready to be flipped? I need to cook both sides, right? So I should flip it now, actually. Huh. Huh. No! There's, there's four eggs. I, I I don't know what's going on. I think I broke the game. Oh, I think I broke the game. I I always do this. I always break every game. I always break every game. Why? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. I, I can't flip the egg. I can't flip the egg. The tutorial keeps restarting because an egg falls to the floor. <laughs> what do I do? The tutorial keeps restarting because an egg falls to the floor. I have four eggs! How do you flip four eggs? Fuck! What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I can't, I, I can't see the next tutorial because it, it keeps, I keep dropping eggs. There's four of them. I flipped it. I flipped it. I flipped it. I flipped it. Please free me. Please, please free me. Please. Okay. Okay. Good. I don't know if I did what you wanted me to, to do. I, I don't know if I succeeded. I'm glad you like it, but I'm sorry for what you had to witness. It seems like this line of work suits you much better. Go out into the alley. Find all those who seem hungry. Cook them food. Make me money this time. 
What do you mean? My only job is to cook food. That's all you want from me. Eggs. In the Arctic. Uh, what, what, what do you mean the alley? Oh my god. Is this... Is this an open world egg cooking game? Like that... I feel like... Like, look at this! Holy shit! This could be a scene in its own show, right? Like, I've seen some, some, some compositions of certain scenes in different shows that feel very similar to, to this. Like, say, in Cowboy Bebop, right? Very old, but still, some, some, of the, some of the scene compositions in that um, anime really do feel like this. And again, it's, it's all the elements, right? The, the gameplay is interesting as is. It, it's already weird. But then you have like a weird story about you cooking eggs in, in, in the Arctic. You have the visuals, like it feels like you're just in like a weird, you know, brutalist urban landscape in the middle of nowhere. And then the music, they draw it all in. It's sci-fi looking stuff, it's really sci-fi looking stuff. Oh my god. Yo. Have you seen all the scars hippos have? I don't even know what that means. Tons. Saw a hippo the other day down in the gutter. That's, that's impossible. They don't live in the Arctic. Looks like he hasn't seen a hard day his entire life. So, cooking now? That's fair. Anyway, need a cough drop a second ago. When I reached into my pocket to grab it, my finger must have snagged a stray coffee bean. Popped both into my mouth at once. Ooh. Surprisingly good. Anyway, again, don't burn my cigarette all the way. What does that mean? What the fuck is this? I'm sorry, it doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? Huh? Yo My brother in Christ, what do you mean the cigarette? What do you mean? I failed. So, cooking now? I, I, I failed because I dropped an, an egg. Why the two eggs and two cigarettes? Yeah, I had my V2 with some of the times for dr dramatic effect. To just really, you know, let things sink in as is. Because, like, sometimes you don't need to see me. Sometimes you just need to see, see the game and just experience it, right? Sometimes you just need to see the scene in, like, full. I can't cook eggs for shit. I can't cook. I, 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 I just. I can't do this. You know, Gordon Ramsay once famously said, um, seeing a chef cook an egg is the best way to tell if they know what they're doing. It's the most basic dish, right? And so it's like, can you infuse enough of yourself and enough skill to make a very good egg? Um, I, I, I can't. Okay, okay, now how do I flip this? How do I flip this? Fuck. Wait, 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 how do I flip this? The cigarette's burning all the way through, though. This is really bad. We, we don't have time. We don't have much time. God damn it! Okay, 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 okay. Um, you over here? You over here? You over here. Let's go. Cook, 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 cook. You must swirl to generate heat. Then when it's ready, you are flipped. And again, the music is designed to get you into this trance-like state. So that you just... So that all you do is you feel. Is you feel the pan. As you feel the pan. As you flip everything off the pan and it goes off the side. And somebody down there gets hit with a raw egg yolk. And they... 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 they, they covered. Covered. Yes. I'm... 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 I'm cooking now. Don't worry. I won't burn your... 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 Your cigarette. Trust me. I'm really good at this. 
You know what's funny is that I don't even know if what Gordon Ramsay said is necessarily true. Because it really depends on your type of cuisine, right? I grew up in a in, in a in a Asian restaurant where cooking an egg was not really important. Because the style of cuisine didn't use like it doesn't really use eggs, right? Except for maybe like fried rice. But like even then, like for fried rice, you're not really doing anything special with the egg. You just throw it in. You just you're just throwing it in into the pan, right? For Thai food, I, I can see it being kind of useful, right? You know, like you can't have had the uh, grapao without um, what's one call it. But I wasn't cooking Thai food, right? Really, the skill that I found in Asian cooking, um, at least for my type of cuisine, you know, for my family's place, was patience. A lot of patience to make the soup broth, because you have to go in at like 6 a.m. to like do it. Or 5 a.m. Yeah, especially even though you open at like, you know, 10 or 11. As well as a lot of anger management skills to not to deal with all the, all the, all, all, all the customers. So whatever Gordon said, maybe he was half right. Anger management would have served him. Ugh! Please. But cooking eggs would not have served, served me. He was very close to something, though. There we go. Okay, way, way too loud, way too loud. There we go. Now it sounds, okay, now it sounds, like, smoother. There, there we go. It's fascinating, too, if you think about what, like, an egg is. It's the most staple food because it's so easy to, to, to cook. I think every kid who's grown up poor has the same experience. Where you have like, you know, not much money. And so you have to buy ingredients in like bulk, or you need to buy certain ingredients to really stretch your, your, um, your money. In a single egg with like, you know, just a bit of salt or some kind of sauce. On like, you know, some kind of carb, like rice, right? Or like a, like a sandwich bread. It's really enough to keep you going for a long period of time. You know, and it seems so simple, right? To just add like a, like just like eggs like something, but really eggs done in the well does elevate a dish to a level that I think without the egg, it wouldn't have tasted nearly as good. I think instant noodles, right? Like it's instant noodles with, li but with like a very good soft boiled egg, like sunny side up, delicious. Poached, and like poached eggs are very simple to make, for instance, right? Not much skill needed. You just need to then peel the thing after. Patience. A lot of patience. Fuck! I should play Noita. Uh, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm going in. I'm going insane cooking an egg. How do you think I'm gonna hang? How do you think I'm going to handle a roguelike? It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Oh, here we go. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Okay. Okay. Oh no! No! How did I do it the first time? The first time I did it perfectly. Like, actually perfectly. And it's fascinating to see the, the different kinds of eggs there are too. Like, different sizes of like, eggs, right? You ever have like a small quail egg? Those, those bad boys, you need like five of them to get the same value as a single egg. But one single egg, like chicken egg, swear to god, you mix that in like in, into noodles, it feels like it, it lasts you a, a lifetime. So good. You're back. Welcome back. Well, you came back to something. Come back to me cooking eggs and talking about eggs in like food. It's fascinating too because eggs are also very easy to acquire for the most part. There's not really much difficulty. Oh! No! To acquire eggs, all you need really is just like a, it's just like, like a chicken, right? And for the most part, I feel like chickens are very easy to acquire. They're not they're not difficult to find. Um, you can you can use them for a lot. They eat bugs, so they basically do like pest like a pest like very low levels of pest control for you. And when the chicken's done, you can eat the the uh, the uh, chicken if you if you so please, right? 
it's why I think chickens have been such a staple for so long, because they can provide so much, so much eggs for you to use. No! Okay. No, I lost this. I lost a cigarette. Oh my god. Dude, as a kid, you were scared of the red eggs because you always thought it was a dead baby chicken. Well, you may not want to look up Balut. But that's the thing, right? Eggs come in all shapes, sizes, and like, colors too. Like, so many variations of like, egg. Yet at its core, it's a very simple thing that you're like, you know what you're going to like, get always. Egg white, yolk. And high cholesterol. But mainly egg white and yolk. And if you eat the eggshell, calcium. But you, you don't eat it, you're, you're, you're a dog eater. I've, uh, at least like, I've, I, I've heard you can mix it in as like food for like dogs, or even back to the chicken. You can give it back to the chicken! Is there, okay, does anybody know, is this supposed to be two eggs? Because the tutorial eventually like gave me four eggs. Is it supposed to be two eggs and, and, and like two cigarettes? I don't think it is. I think, I think my game's bugged. I think my game's bugged. I can't, I can't, I can't, this is the first guy. This is the first guy. This is the first guy. He wants two eggs. Two. And food is an, is it, it's a bit of an interesting place to be, right? Because everybody can cook themselves a meal, no matter what you believe. And for the most part, you know, if you if you don't have any you know uh, things going on, for the most part, anybody can can cook food, right? And food's very fascinating because like. Just because you can cook it doesn't mean that you necessarily want to at any given moment. That's why takeout food is so popular. Even like a very simple dish like, like an egg, it makes sense why these people want me to cook eggs for them. Why? Because you can't be a like, sometimes you just can't be asked to like fry your own egg. Sometimes you just want someone else to do it for you. You just want to eat egg and you just have egg. I need to put the cigarette on top of the egg. Why the two eggs? I feel like my, my game is bugged. Oh, oh, there we go. And so even something as simple as like eggs, people will go out to like buy it, right? Like you can go to a diner and get like, you know, bacon and like eggs. And what they do special with the eggs? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They may throw on like a cigarette or two and... The chef's sweat may taste very, very good. My sweat's tasting great. Oh, so good. My sweat is amazing. Don't you love the taste of my sweat, chat? But it doesn't really warrant, you know, going out to eat your own egg. But at the same time, it's like, sometimes just the experience itself is worth it. The experience of not having to cook for yourself, just being able to let go. This dude is waiting like 10 minutes for two eggs. Um. I just, I'm going crazy, 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 I'm gonna end it, I'm going crazy, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end it, you're kidding me, I can't die, what do you want, what do you want, you are now this alley's poultry prepper, right, what, why exactly are we frying eggs with cigarettes, I don't know, I don't know anything about this game, I know nothing, you would like an egg, Cooked on both sides, as always. Can you also cook my cigarette? Why? You like the flavor it adds. Well, that's why. That's why we cook the cigarette, because it adds flavor. She's the tutorial. I should have done her first. The cigarette is already lit, though, so please finish the meal before it burns completely. Hate it when they burn the cigarette. Put it out! She's the tutorial. She's the tutorial. Okay. She's the tutorial. I was doing hard mode. Sorry, I was doing hard mode. Please, how do I speed this up? How, how, how do I skip this? Oh god. One thing too that this, uh, is, my pan is interesting that it generates heat as you move. I actually kind of wish that that was true. One of the most annoying things in, in like cooking is having to deal with controlling heat. Not that you really have to, but sometimes you do. Eggs in particular, if you control heat well, you actually get like a much different texture on your finished egg product. 
You can make very creamy eggs if you control the heat well. You, you can get very stiff, very plain, very lifeless eggs. You can burn your eggs, you know, as, as hard as, as that is to believe, you can burn eggs. I actually pre prefer induction stoves for this, for this reason. Induction stoves are very, very good for cooking because you get a very even amount of heat across the entire surface of your pan. I, th I, I think I mentioned this before, but induction woks are becoming much more well-known, well you know, much more widely used because it's much easier to control the level of heat that you need for your particular dish. At least the places where I've worked, you, you know, or, or, or that I've seen, they've like thought about it at like times. If only a wok was less expensive to just install in the first place, then maybe they would have gone for it, right? But it really does make a difference. Because cooking on a wok, the hardest part, the, the hardest part of the skill is controlling the, the heat. And there's a lot of different factors in, that goes into controlling heat, right? One, what's the, what's the construction of your wok's like fire pit? I, I, don't, I don't know what the English term for it is, right? But like, I'm just gonna say the fire pit, because like, uh, that should be a good enough mental image, right? If it, if it blocks wind very well, then you're basically set. Like, because really, the most annoying part is when you, when you cook, and someone opens the back door to, to throw out trash, and it's like a windy day, and then all of a sudden, like, all that air comes in and, like, messes up your entire FIRE! Goddamn smoke addicts, that's what I'm saying. Why do you need to smoke at the same time as you eat? It doesn't make any sense. Put the cigarette away, y y you'll need it. Also, my mouse sensitivity is locked. I think this is the fastest, fastest it can turn. There's no way faster. I'm, I, I'm furiously scrolling. I just want to cook an egg. The reason why chickens lay so many eggs is because they're synced with bamboo. What? Basically, every few years, the bamboo in Southeast blooms like crazy, and everything is full of ba bamboo sprouts. And the wild chickens use the opportunity to, to reproduce like they're crazy. I feel like you've just. I feel like that's like. That's like ancient lore that, like. You just made up because like it sounds so nonsensical, but also believable, right? Like it, it has all the correct elements to make it seem believable, but then it's also like it's like how, like how do they know? But also, if you've ever eaten like a bamboo sprout, that shit actually really does taste really good. If you braise it with soy sauce, my god, is that thing good? So I, you know, it, it makes sense, right? Because I would do I would do, do do the same thing if I could hibernate. And in time, my time to wake up with like when when and the bamboo sprouts, I would I would do that too. Huh? No! But that that is fascinating. Wait, okay, wait. So, were is the modern day chicken like a like a thing that like came from Southeast Asia? Because you know, like chickens aren't really like 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 they're like an ancient creature, but they're also kind of like made in like a like. Like, we've domesticated them, and so, like, we've, like, modified them as much as we, like, can to fit our, like, needs. Who modified the, 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 the like, who tamed the first dinosaur to turn into an egg-laying chicken? Was it Southeast Asia? Because that would be crazy. Like, because I could use that as my claim to fame, right? Somewhere down the line, I tamed a, a dinosaur and made it cook, made it lay eggs for me. But that is a cool fact. I don't know if it's true, but that, that, that sounds cool. Basically, we feed chickens so much that they constantly think it's, bam it's, it's, it's bamboo season. Huh. Yes, as far as you know, chickens do originate from Southeast Asia. What the fuck? Yo! You know more about me than I do about, uh, about myself. How do you know this? This is making you sleep. Well, welcome to the stream. You're not the only one who like, sleeps here. My wife does too. She's watching right now. She probably fell back asleep. Oh, no. But I guess that makes sense. I guess it makes sense that's like why they lay so much too. They got... Because they eat a lot, yeah. I wonder how people even like notice that in the first place, right? Because eggs are already kind of like weird to want to eat. Unless you witness like a snake eating it. Or you happen to find some and you crack it open, right? It's like... 
Who is the first person who saw it and was like, I'm gonna eat this? Because I think the first time you see it, you're like, this looks like a... Like, it looks like waste almost, right? Unless you know that it leads to, like, a bird growing. But the only way to know that it leads to a bird growing is to watch the egg over long periods of time. Or happen to see it as it hatches, then, then you're like, oh, that thing makes a chicken. Right? Oh my god! Cook egg! Yes! Whoa! The way you just handled the pan! <laughs> Man, it's been 20 minutes! It's been 20 minutes, I don't think you should be saying this! Keeping it old school. With a hint of respite. Nice! 11 still hungry. 11 still hungry! Oh my god! You're not hungry, your friend is though. Okay, you're the- okay. So you're the second one. But yeah, so like, okay, so- So imagine, right? First time you see a chicken egg. Because it, it takes balls to also eat the egg because you know that from the egg comes the chicken, right? And I imagine it's much easier to equate seeing a chicken with being able to like, eat it. And so somebody at some point had to, had to have said, Hey, actually, we don't want to grow a chicken, we just want to eat the egg. And it's like, what are you doing, dude? Like, there, there, there goes all of our, all of our supply of, of, like, chicken. And so I was like, how do you even get to that point where you know that the egg itself has, like, value, right? I'm so curious. I guess it's the same question of, like, who ate mushrooms first, right? Like, how, like, how did you know which mushrooms were not poisonous versus war? And a lot of people had, had to die to learn. Oh, oh, no! The wild animal is called red jungle fowl. If you, look, you can see that's just a chicken. There's no way. Red jungle fowl. Oh my god, it's just a chicken! Yeah, it's just a chicken! Uh, uh, the, the primordial chicken. What the fuck? How do you know this? How do you know so much about chickens? Uh, I, 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 I feel like you're like a chicken expert that came out of nowhere. How, how, how is this possible? You're a neuroscientist! How do you know so much? This is the primordial chicken. This is this, you may not like it, but this is peak chicken. You may not like it, but this is peak chicken. Peak. Peak. Sorry, I was just talking to um, the people in my head about uh, chickens. Yeah, I, I can catch it. Sure, leave it to me, man. I'll deal with your um, uh, obsession with br uh, the fried cigarettes. I don't know anybody who would do this. But I did know someone who like tried to light it on a stove once and it did work. But also, it made the place smell like shit, so like... Again, this was like, you know, fairly early on. Well, there's not really many rules, technically. Like, it, it, it's... My brother described it best as a, like, a lot of people who work in like restaurants. Like, a lot of people are really into like drugs and just like doing weird things. And so it's like... People will try anything. Hey! No! You just know a lot of random stuff. Well, well, guess what? This is where you belong. You are now our resident uh, zoologist. Is that the that's the study of, of? There's one that's a study of viruses. One that's a study of of animals. But you're now the resident zoologist for the stream too. So if I'm feeling sad, I'll talk to you. And if I want to know where chickens come from, I'll also talk to you. Perfect. But it, 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 you know, it, it makes sense. Oh, like at some level, it just makes sense. I'm just surprised that it's so... It's just out there. Like, I always thought like an ancient chicken, like like the primordial template chicken, right? Like, like what is... Like, what is... Like, imagine you, you would think of like the prime version of an animal, right? A prime chicken, I expected more dinosaur stuff. Because like, you know, the whole thing of them coming from like dinosaurs and like, stuff. Or is that just... J j just a myth. And like, uh, uh, what was it? The magic school bus lied to me. Right? But I would have expected something more evil looking. More, more sinister, right? More deadly. Not so delicious and cute. Very delicious, but also very cute. Yo! Good time. <gasps> I lost a cigarette. Oh my god. You'll gladly ramble about animals. That's, that's exactly what. What, what, what we need. Feel free to ramble about anything, chat. Anything. Whatever. <laughs> I already failed. Wait! 
I'm I'm a cheater. Oh, I, I thought I could throw away like like your stuff. But you are free to ramble about any anything in the chat. All of you, you're free to be who you want to be. Ramble as much as you want about chickens. And also fall asleep. Maybe this is a this is definitely a sleeping game. Okay, just 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 hold. Wait wait wait. Oh no. Oh no, my mouse fell off the screen. Oh no, my mouse is broken. Why? Why why is my mouse off? Why is my mouse appearing? Oh my god, my mouse is appearing. I don't know why my mouse cursor like broke. That was weird. Okay. Okay. Birds are indeed direct descendants of 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 dinosaurs. See, exactly. But still, I expected something more like, you know, scary. Like you know like dogs and like wolves, like very, very different. Like they look similar, right? But like a wolf compared to a dog, like it, 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 it really does look like the older brother, right? But that chicken that you just showed me, the jungle red fowl, just looks like a chicken, but like red. It looks like a more colorful chicken, which I, I you know, it, it, it makes sense, but like still. I should flip sideways, that way I know what I'm doing. If I flip the wrong side, it's gonna be hard for me to see. Oh. No! One of the interesting things about eggs is that they're surprisingly a very good staple food no matter where you are, too. It's a bit weird to me, like, right? Because it's it's exported basically everywhere and it serves the same purpose as like being a very cheap staple item to add to your to your to your, to your meals. And you know, a, a lot of food is like very much um at least like uh, a food that's available to you in terms of like what's like there. It's typically, you know, the result of a lot of hard work to make sure that, logistically, people don't starve to death, right? There's a lot of incentive to make sure that people don't starve to death. Yo! No! I need to be careful to catch the cigarette after. I'll put it in, in the center, actually. So <laughs> it slid right down his pants. I'm so sorry. That 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 egg slid right down your pants. I'm so sorry. You, you had to feel that. That that must have felt awful because it's also like cold and like wet and like rainy out here. It, 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 it's like the middle of the Arctic and stuff. And so no matter where you are, an egg is a very good, good, easy staple to like find, right? Very easy to grow yourself. Oh my god. Well, relatively easy, right? Also, just in terms of like raw value of like, you know, how much you like get, you get a lot for, you know, the cost of like one chicken, which again, the chicken itself is kind of the thing that you have to get, but all you need is like, you know, a hen and a rooster and you're basically set, you know, over longer periods of like time to like feed you. Oh, fudge. We should put in two more cigarettes, so if two drop, it's all good. You're a genius. This is why they made uh, indoor smoking laws for people like you. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I just want to cook these eggs. We talked so long about eggs and we're not even done cooking two of them. But no matter where I was, no matter what, you know, how much, you know, I like had to my name, there was always the prospect of being able to afford eggs and eat very, very cheaply. A very good cheap food that I, that I remember growing up with was just rice and like eggs. To this day, still my favorite. Rice, eggs, and soy sauce, right? I love that shit. I could eat that for like hours. There was a period of time too when my, my, my wife and I, I was like, I just told her, I was like, honey, we have to get some eggs. And I just, I, I, I just ate just eggs and like rice for like an entire month. I don't know why. Not even like scrambled eggs too, just like sunny side up, right? Cooked very simply, very easily. You can cook it on like anything. You can even cook it on like rocks if you wanted to, right? Get get like a dry rock and some uh, and like start like an open fire, right? And you basically have a very good you know meal always. And and if you choose a nice rock, you get the flavor of the salt and the minerals from the rock. I thought I lost the cigarette, but I actually it was hiding, so I thought it was so I so I thought I lost the thing, but I just <sighs> I just want to cook the eggs. Yeah, it's nice, right? In general, there's a lot of wasted food out there. In general. But there's also a lot of, you know, fairly simple ways to get 
like some level of food that is at least good enough, right? You'll never be too hungry, but you can definitely go very hungry. Um, it's also why in general I advocate people to know how to cook. Because if you can make anything taste like good, it makes having no money and no, no nothing to your name significantly more enjoyable. I can't tell you how many times I've been in a situation where like we just don't have, where we just have no money for like food, and we have, to, we have to get really creative with how we cook so we don't like go crazy. Because the that that like mental effect of having good tasting food is is so profound and so difficult to explain to someone who's like always had a steady amount of food. And so I'm very glad that eggs as a staple food at least also taste very, very nice. Now, of course, this has to, this is precluded by the fact that you must enjoy eggs in the first place, right? If you don't enjoy eggs, it's kind of hard to, you know, eat eggs all the time. And some people just don't enjoy eggs, right? Some people just like taste eggs and they're just like, Ugh, you know what I mean? My wife is like, you know, one of them, but for the more runny style of like eggs, sometimes, Otherwise, she really likes eggs, if it's like, you know, scrambled very, very well. But I've known people who like can't even eat, 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 eat eggs at all, who like can't handle the texture of it being like, kind of runny, kind of like going, you know, kind of, not, not really raw, but like, you know what I mean? Loose. Loosey-goosey. But if you know how to spruce up an uh, egg, and you know how to like you know cook it well and how to season it well and how you and like what 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 things to add to it that are cheap. You can make a very delicious egg. I know how to flip. I know how, I know how to how to flip now. I know how to flip. I know how to flip. And tomatoes, for instance, are a great thing to add to like eggs, right? If, it, if it's in season around where you, where you are, very cheap, very good, delicious! If you live in a place that like uses a lot of tomatoes too, it's much easier to get, you know, cheap. Because it, it's, it's usually considered like a staple food, and so it's like much easier to like buy, because usually stores will have it fairly cheaper. But even if you're not, right, you, you can usually get tomatoes very, very cheap, even, even, like, even like canned ones. You add that to some eggs, you scramble it up, my god, delicious. You're worried about it, you know, going bad too. Just like freeze it, or or, or like get like a or like g g get the canned version, and you can just buy a bunch on like sale, right? Another really good one that's underrated is green onions too. Green onion egg uh, uh, omelet, for instance, really really good. The green onion, you you can cut the green onion and then freeze it. Basically the same texture when it comes out, and when you fry it, it, it still gives that beautiful flavor that you love from the eggs and the green onion. And then, you know, if you if you happen to have enough money, you can add, like, you know, meat to it. Ham, cheese, if you get really fancy with it. Butter, if you happen to have that staple. It really depends on where you are, though. Not every place has, like, butter as we know it. Like, the, like, creamy kind. Sometimes you might just have ghee, which is still also really good. But for the most part, you know, you can add anything to eggs and you end up with a very good dish. Extremely versatile. Again, I don't really know how much of it, you know, details how good of a cook you are. How, how good of a chef you, you are, for instance. Gordon Ramsay says that. But, you know, as I said before, not every, not every type of cuisine just uses eggs very, very, very much. Butter, as we know, it should be my next album title. <laughs> That's a good album title, actually, yeah. Alright, if I ever... Okay, when, when, I, when I finish recording stuff, I'm going to name the album Butter As I Know It. Butter As We, uh, we uh, Know It. Oh, and it'll be like damn because it's so smooth. But but it's goddamn. That's that's actually good. Holy shit, you're a genius. That's why you're the you're the neuroscientist here. Goddamn it. <laughs> that's why I'm here flipping eggs. Actually, it's fun, it's funny. It's like interesting too, right? That perception of like some jobs being quote unquote lower class is is always strange to me. Because like, I find cooking to be so important as like a skill, but also as a profession, I find it to be very admirable, right? Because that whole idea of like, you know, you can cook it yourself, but like, that convenience 
and the ability to just have it on on uh, on demand no matter where you are no why did you flip twice why that was a perfect flip i hate you so much Duh. means that no matter where you are no matter what you're doing for your work for instance you can always go out and get a nice hot meal I always find these like you know uh, you know down to earth kind of jobs. I don't really know what the, what the word for it is in like English. I know the word in in my language. It's a very specific phrase. <laughs> I I always find it to be so important to the entire ecosystem as a whole, right? Of like what people do, and, like what you and like what people people can like, get, and I, and like how people live. You say you're extremely good at baking and average at at cooking. Okay, to be fair, baking, I, I can see why. Baking is a science. It's a literal science. And so it makes sense that, that you're really good at baking. Because you're a neuroscientist. Baking, I've heard described as like, one of the most intensive uh, reading operations out there. <laughs> because you have to read really well, otherwise you have a, a whole bunch of really bad bread. I once tried to make muffins. And no joke, I made baguette. Like every single piece of like muffin in inside the cup was just a baguette. It was really good. I mean, it it tasted great. I actually now like my 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 baguettes kind of sweet because I realized that like it it adds a nice balance to like you know against the the usual salty stuff inside of it. And I, I, I like I basically turned it into small mini like sandwich breads. Like, I, just, I, I made mini sandwiches out of it, right? But like, boy oh boy, am I bad at baking. But cooking? I, I think I can cook a mean egg. I think so. Now that is quite Im impressive. See, it's exactly. So I would say that, you know, it's fine to be good at like either or. The key is that, you know, at least you have some skills to change staples into something very delicious, right? Flour in general, you can get a lot of. I don't know how easy it is to grow flour, wheat. But I imagine it can't be that hard considering that we uh, farm it. And so you always have an option to be able to make yourself a very good meal. And so that you don't starve, right? Always. And even if, you, even if you're just, if you feel like you're basic at at cooking, it's a skill that you definitely can like learn. It, but it does require a certain amount of like time and like patience, and like you know, you are gonna have to read a lot and like just try a lot, and you're gonna have to be willing to get burnt, right? But I think in the end, you'll end up with something very, very good to have, a very strong life skill to have. Okay, all right. God damn it! <laughs> Yeah, all off the side, all off the side. He just watched me. He watched me throw everything off the side. He's like, why? Please don't do that ever again. And you know, if you know how to bake, right? You're actually serving the wheat overlords that control humanity. There's a theory that wheat and grass are the two most uh, 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 per uh, uh, pervasive parasites that we've ever had in all of humanity's history, right? And you know, we, we call them parasites because they take away resources that we could be using, right? Land, water, time, you know, you know what I mean? And in return, they give us uh, a, a very little of something, right? You, like, you get a bunch of wheat, but at the same time, it's not really like a lot, at least as far as I, I can tell, compared to like the cost of growing it and like stuff. And I've heard that like it's the most successful parasite too because, in a way, both wheat and grass have mind-controlled people to spread them, right? Grass has mind-controlled people that a nice green lawn is the epitome of like, you know, American success, uh, you know, quote-unquote. And obviously that's a very huge simpl simplification, the, the whole idea of like what a, of like what a, of like what a, a, a like, a like normal home is, was really designed from like a, a you know, marketing standpoint of like, hey, this is the kind of house that you want. This is the kind of image that you want. This is the kind of houses that we can sell for you. Call now for your new American home, right? Stuff like that. But boy, oh boy, has it been effective. 
for like wheat and like um, uh, 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 grass to control us and so no 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 you wonder how efficient different foods are yes there's um there's there's usually studies you can find for quite a few of them I know for sure that for instance beef is surprisingly inefficient inefficient sorry inefficient the amount of water and stuff that you have to go uh, that like goes into like growing a cow the amount of like uh, greenhouse gases and even the amount of water that like, goes into doing the supply lines for a cow you know factorial it's a bit like factorial right you can't have a cow unless you have feed for the, for the cow but the feed for the cow requires even more resources right so it's like if you want green science you have to make red science first in in the case of a cow right the cow is the green science the red science is is like the feed the grain right you but uh, Either way, you you need separate ingredients for like both, but you still need both to, to like get to the end result. So I've heard like you know meat is very um, inefficient. It's it, the cost is really only brought down by subsidies for the most part. Uh, mushrooms are surprisingly very efficient. Those things can grow anywhere and just live on a lot of off of off of, off of anything really. And so that's why like you know all those fake meat 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 products like Beyond Meat, they're like doing you know. It's why we theorize that's like the future, right? It, if, if we can synthesize, if we can synth synthesize it, we can get rid of a, a lot of those intermediate steps that like make it so expensive to to have. I can't believe it. No, no, stop! No. You know, cows are pretty much always less effective than any than any plants. Yeah, but I wonder how much of that is true for like pigs, for instance, or chickens, right? For instance, chickens give eggs. And I find the chicken to be very efficient because a chicken over its lifetime may lay, you know, hundreds of eggs. Like so much so that farmers actually can't eat at all. Like, uh, you know, I, I've heard many tales of farmers being like, yeah, we have so many eggs and shit that we have to like sell them. Because it's just too much. Or they give it away to like family because like, it's just too much. And like, it's not like they, they, they have made too much in the sense of like they were aiming to make too much. It's just when you have chickens, you have eggs, and like they just—they're really good at—they're really good at making eggs. So it's like, what do you do? Same with honey, actually. I read honey is very similar too, where you can get a lot of honey, and you don't really know what to do with it, so you have to give away quite a quite a lot quite a lot of it. I heard the boom in like you know like how good honey is and how you know these different brands of like organic honeys has been very good. My coworker had a family member who like was like a beekeeper and I was like that's pretty cool and they were telling me how like it was like they have so much honey to sell because there's so much like when it's time to collect there's a lot of honey and organic honey boy oh boy does it make does it make a lot of money in general the value of something is you know weird right like how can you really value a chicken or a cow or like an egg really like like realistically right it's ah, uh, it's one of the core I think you know ideas behind like what like if veganism as, as a whole. Can you really value this living thing by like any measure as like you know being worth more or like less than like you, for instance? But I know one thing, okay. Irrespective of the philosophy, bees make a lot of honey, and it doesn't matter how expensive or how cheap it is. It takes a lot of work to make honey. But chickens, dude. Even if you try to, you can't stop a chicken from laying an egg. You literally can't stop them. Unless, unless actually, you uh, leave out uh, 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 very good nutrients for them. So there are eggs that tend to come out very poorly. Like, I've heard the there's like a type of egg that, you know, will come out... It, 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 it's like a rejected egg, uh, so it's like very, very strange. Has like weird... It has like a ligament to it or like something. Like, it's weird, I don't know. Or it like smells bad or the inside gets all weird and stuff. But chickens will try their best to just keep laying eggs. I'm going crazy, by the way. We just had a whole discussion about food and eggs and the value of food and what is the efficiency of food. I haven't even flipped. I can't flip these goddamn eggs over. No! I just want <laughs> these eggs. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard. No, no, I, I don't get it. 
That's fascinating to see, right? Because, like, you know, there's a lot of wild plants that you can eat, too, actually. And I'm curious how effective it is to, to like, eat certain plants or, like, drink certain, certain plants and stuff. Like, dandelions? You, you'd apparently eat dandelions. And I'm, I don't know how. I would love to cook them. But around where I live, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot of cars. So I imagine my dandelions are full of uh, gasoline. Or, or, or at least lead. A lot of lead. Not that we still, not that we still use lead fuel, but I'm assuming however long this like place has, has like been here, at some point there was lead gasoline, and at some point it's still there in 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 the earth, right? But I've always wanted to try eating stuff like dan like um, dan like that like, like like dandelions, um, crab weed. I've heard there's a weird salad ingredient, but like tastes okay. Um, grass, no joke. I don't know if of us have it. There's a place called Booster Juice, right? They <laughs> Booster Juice has like this like they have like a patch of grass in like front of the window. So like you know what I mean? Like 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 where they take your order and like where you make things and like stuff. And I always wondered what it was for uh, as a kid, right? So I asked my sister because we were in in the mall once, and I was like, "Hey, what's that for?" And she's like, "Oh, do you want to try it? It tastes good." And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean?" So she goes up and she asks for a, 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 a grass booster juice like smoothie. And I'm not even kidding you. They take the grass inside of the jar. They take scissors and they cut it. They then just, they just blend it to a smoothie. And you just have a, you have a grass smoothie. And like, why do you do this? And apparently it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's apparently it tasted fine. I mean, with enough sugar, anything tastes like fine. And, 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 and booster juice is not afraid to add sugar, right? But I, I kind of wonder how efficient that is, for instance. How come we don't eat grass more? Like, why don't, why don't we ruminate like cows do, right? We have philosophy. Why don't we ruminate, too? It, it, it doesn't make any, any sense. Just normal grass? Yeah, just, just normal grass. So imagine your, your, your typical in, like, indoor planter like thing. Like your indoor planter plot, right? And then just grass. They're just growing. And then they have... They, and then obviously, it's... It's not just one, but they have like extra grass. <laughs> they have extra grass, just like growing. And I'm like, oh, I guess I just eat this. And you know, it's sweet. It's, it tastes exactly as you expect to, right? I think everyone's tried grass at least once. Not Mary Jane. Not, uh, not the devil's le lettuce, right? The devil has no hold over grass. The devil has no hold over grass. Grass is a holy thing. Grass is a grass is the holy implement of uh, the earth. It's like it's like hair, right? Like grass is hair, and then you know the devil's lettuce is like is like is like pubic hair. But I feel like everyone's tried it at least once. Like as a kid, I tried grass because like I just saw it and I'm like, what does it taste like? Maybe that's not normal, but I'm sure hoping it, it is. I'm really just asking for confirmation. Like, is that normal? Have you you've all eaten grass, right? So, okay, because last time when I said about licking rocks, everyone was very, like, concerned about me. Everybody in chat was like, why are you licking rocks? And I'm like, because they taste salty. So I'm kind of worried that, like, maybe I'm doing something weirder. I can't believe I'm failing this. I... I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You, you can starve. You can starve for all I care. Uh, okay, yo. Ran out of cups this, this morning. Drone stopped delivering to the machine months ago. Had to drink from a bowl. Surprisingly, not bad. That's the only way to drink, is a bowl. Left that situation feeling more satisfied than I usually do. I don't think cups have ever satisfied me. Anyway, not hungry. Sorry for wasting your time. You probably have tried it at, at some point as a kid, though you don't remember specifically. That could be your brain uh, doing that as a safety uh, measure to prevent you from reliving the traumatic memories of having your face, you know, covered in like dirt and like grass. Guy like me, two eggs. Why are you the tutorial? Why, why, tell me, why is the tutorial up here? Uh, why is hard mode down there? Oh my God, there's new music. Wait, okay, uh, I, I can do this guy easily. I, I, I can do you, easily. Watch this. This is this is the this is the tutorial. There's no music. They know that at this point, 
you would have tried to do the cigarette thing for so long that you would be mad and you would leave and then you would be like oh my god you know what i mean like this is it's quiet here with no music to give you the ability to reflect on your actions Okay, you're watching. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, the, 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 the stream died for a second there. Okay, now, now watch. Now watch. The stream died there for a second. This is my first time trying this. Oh, sorry guys, the stream died for a second. That was weird. Sorry, I, I, my, my mouse dis, dis, disconnected. I don't know what happened. You know what's funny too is that this is a Teflon pan. I actually stay away from Teflon pans now. A good cast iron is basically the same. Sorry, sorry, this is my first time. You're kidding me! Like, not exactly the same. Because Teflon is really good if you use it at like a low enough heat for like eggs, for instance. That stuff really does slide off. But the risk of cancer is so high that I'm like, it's not really worth it. I can't believe it. Oh, this is, this is a, this is a strat. This is the strat. This is the strat. Watch this, watch, 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 watch. Watch. <laughs> I hate you. Why do you keep pouring your eggs on top? But nowadays, I just, you know, I, I, I tend to just go for a very high heat with like a, you know, some kind of steel or a cast iron pan. No, like, like no coating or, or anything. And just like oil, and then it usually it, it it works, right? I mean, apparently there is some science behind it. It's like the something effect, where like if you do it at a high enough heat, it'll basically never form like a bond, and it'll like immediately cook it. It'll always be like stirring, if that makes sense. Not that I understand the mechanics of it, but I have heard that's how it is. You're kidding me. Sorry. That was a wash. He <laughs> just wait. The head tracks the eggs. Look, it doesn't track the eggs. He just, he just happened to look. Oh wait. And it's not the Maillard re reaction. That one is just the how you get the sear. The one I'm gonna talk about the Leiden frost. The the Leiden frost, where you have a high enough heat and like it, it basically never forms like a sticking surface. So it, so it like separates immediately off of like high like heat. It almost forms like a buffer. Is how I understand it mechanically. Like you know, like like there's tech to like cooking, right? Like it, you know what I mean? Like 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 you have tech in Super Smash 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 Bros. Um, there's like tech in like cooking. I need music. I'm stepping back into in, into the music zone. I want new new uh, newer music actually. This one. No. I need to sip my coffee. Oh wait, I I need to sip my coffee. I need to sip my coffee. I'm going crazy. I want to beat this game because I don't want to stop playing the game. This game has me has me feeling a type of way. I need to drink my coffee. Okay. I'm all caffeinated. That's my th this is my fourth cup of coffee today. There's no music. Sorry, I need music. Sorry, sorry. Please, I, I'm begging you. Why is this? Why do you cook in a, Why do you stand in a zone with no music? The band... The band doesn't play here. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Music. Yeah, after learning about the dangers of um, Teflon, I've always been afraid now. Life is short as is. I don't want to die because I'm making eggs, right? Or because I ate like eggs with like Teflon. <laughs> he immediately said, uh, no, you have to try that again. You just threw the egg away for no reason. Which is sad too. Because I don't know about you, but I hate cleaning pans a lot. They're very large, usually un unwieldy, very annoying to, to clean. You know, I, up until now, I've never had like a very suitable sink space or kitchen space. So it's like, you know, imagine having like an entire pan to like clean. They're very versatile, obviously, but like, 
cleaning is always a pain in the ass, right? So if if you could make a non-stick where the cleaning process is, is like way easier, that'd be great. Because a small pan, the problem with like having a small pan just just for eggs, right? Which they also sell, is that you only have it for like eggs. The problem is that you're not only cooking eggs, right? Well, I mean, it depends, you know what I mean? For a large period of my time, yeah, I was only cooking eggs. But at some point, you want to cook some more things. Oh my god! I hate this. How do you do this? I don't understand! Why is this start off falling off the side? I think I know the mechanics. It's weird, because I can kind of do a flip IRL. But I, I definitely fail more than, like, not. But in a game, it feels weird. It just feels like you're so disconnected from the from the actual action. Oh! Yo! Look at them wiggling! You make two eggs so well. <laughs> I see he just didn't care. For the last like 5-10 minutes, he just didn't care. 10 still hungry. There's 10 people still hungry. There are 10 people still hungry. In this like, you know, soulless place. What the fuck is that? I do make two eggs so well, Sticky. I really do. I really do. Never met anyone who's been to the Mariana Trench. I- what? You mean you've never met, was it Steven Steele? Who is the uh, guy who, who, they were a director, and they went down to the Mariana Trench. Also, I know the game is like, it, it sounds scratchy. I don't know what to do about that, actually. I don't know why it sounds like that, actually. That's weird. It's very scratchy. Stole some bacon from downstairs. Cook both sides. Bacon? No. No way. No way. No way, dude. Okay, okay. How do you flip bacon? <laughs> How do you flip bacon? James Cameron, that's the one. I don't know why I, I, I thought Steven Spielberg. But James Cameron, yes. Sorry, uh, reset. Sorry, can you give me some new uh, bacon? This is the music that I showed you all before we started the uh, game. This is the song I showed you all before we started the uh, game. The extremely good song with the crazy jazz. Im the improvisations are really, really good. I actually think they're fa they're fantastic. You're kidding me. You know what's funny is that in the Arctic, right? At this point, you wouldn't even bother having ingredients that you that you can cook. You usually just just like bring preserved stuff or like. You know, very, very low to zero water content, like, bread. And you just eat it. Oh my god. Yo! No. No! And so it's fascinating to me that he even found raw bacon. There's a station, actually, all the way up in the Antarctic, or the, or the, or the, or, or the Arctic, I'm not sure, in the States. Um, called the McMurdo Research Station. Mc, 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 McMurdo, again, my mouth is... Something's wrong with my mouth. Something has been wrong with, with my mouth ever since I was born. And so it's kind of hard for me to like say certain things. But the McMurdo Station is a research station that's based all the way up like there. And they even like show like a bunch of preserved stuff. I, I mean, obviously now they don't need to use it because like... We got technology, and they can just like have. I just threw the egg right in his face. I'm so sorry. The the burning hot egg just landed on his face, and he's like burnt. He's like burnt to shit. He's like, why did you do that? But they do show like the remnants of, of the history of like you know what you used to bring, like pemmican, which was a mix of like wild berries and like you know meat and like fat, and you would make it into this like you know dry preserved like you know edible like mush biscuits very very dry hardtack now they make pizza up there in the arctic you can eat pizza and apparently it's their most popular item you can custom order pizza when you work at McMurdo station no joke no 
you must say this is a pretty silly game. This is a very silly game. But like, it, 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 it's hard. There's a high skill cap to this game. A very high skill skill cap. I feel like maybe I should have gone to uh, La Cordon Bleu before I played this game, right? What's the equivalent of like that, like, you know, cook cooking school, but like for games? No. Oh, I should have played Cooking Mama before I played this, right? You get the basics down with, with, with like mom, and then you go for the hard stuff. Live frying. Live flipping. The live panning. I'm panhandling. Wait, that's the uh, thing that you do when you need money. Wait, sorry. Nice! Bacon! No, why did it flip back? Why did it flip back? Please, I'm begging you. At least it is kind of relaxing. It really is. I, I mean, for you. For you it's relaxing, as I regale you with stories about McMurdo Station, how they eat up in the Arctic, as we explore the, intric the intricacies of food as it relates to, you know, resource uh, supplies. As well as like, you know, what is the better parasite, wheat or like grass? And what is a grass smoothie? It's relaxing for you. I'm dying. I've only ever successfully cooked three eggs total. And one of them was a cigarette. But I do wonder why they're all hanging outside in the freezing cold. I imagine it must be fun. It's fun for me. Like in Canada, I just often very, like I, I, I very much often just sit, just sit outside. In like the freezing cold. I really like sitting outside. Why is it crackling? I, I really don't know why. And it, you know, it's mainly because I really like the snow, and I like the feel of the cold, and I, I, I like the silence of it, right? So I, I can understand, but that's maybe because I grew up as a, as, a, as a Canadian. So maybe it's different. I imagine if you grew up in like Florida, for instance, right? Where it's like hot all the, uh, the, the uh, time, that would seem like a nightmare. You would sit outside a lot if you didn't live in the city. That is true. That's also true, yes. It's cars do make sitting outside. But just like, I don't know. Because like city vibes, it, it, it's a very specific vibe that isn't necessarily bad. But I find it to be very stressful for myself too. There are moments when I like the, 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 the city vibe. But to me, the city vibe is like always much more active. It's not as, it's not as relaxing. Cook, 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 cook. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you say is yeah. Again, it's not that like a, a, a city vibe is necessarily bad, but you you definitely do get like a very different vibe. It's way more active. It's way more intense. When you're... When you're just like outside and you just kind of do your own thing, like it, 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 like in like a country area or like a place where there's a lot less, um, you know, I guess like busyness going on, it, it feels way more relaxing to me. So I do agree with that. Huh. Do you think you can fry eggs on Mount Everest? Maybe you can make scrambled eggs. So no side is in the cold too long. I'm not sure. But let's find out together. I know our, our attempt to get you out of here last time failed. <gasps> you helped, you tried to help save me. But I'm willing to give it another, another shot. Finish up my orders, come back to you. Okay, we, ha we have to. You've been waiting years for you to get proper snow again. And last week it finally did snow properly and you were sick the whole time, aw. Yeah, see, yeah, that's how I felt like too, yeah, cause like, the snowfall, at least recently, has been kind of bad. Even last year, it, it, it felt kind of, like, like bad. But also because, like, last year, I was still kind of reeling from, like, you know, post-COVID stuff. Of, like, just wanting to stay in, in like, doors. And so this year is when I felt more social. I'm still very not social, but still. I, oh my god, listen to this song. Just listen. It's very crunchy, right? Like, it, it, it sucks. I, like, 
The song is amazing. It's, it's just the fact that something about the playback sounds so crunchy. But the song is really good. I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, every year just, just, just gets warmer, so you have like less and less stuff. It feels bad. You know, and, and it's like w w when you do get snowfall, it feels more special. Especially during like Christmas time, there was no snow around where, where I live. So it was like very, very empty. There was like, there was just no feeling of like Christmas. It's weird. And it's weird, right? Because like Christmas is not really about the weather. It's not really about like, you know, the, the time or anything. It's really about the things that you do that really makes Christmas, I think, the holidays. Like giving gifts and spending time with your family. But even then, I think I'm so conditioned to have like that like vibe, that environment, that when I lack it, it also lacks that certain something that makes it whole. It's weird. Like, I still get pieces of it, but I'm missing the whole picture. The flamingos left a long time ago. They left pink feathers everywhere. It was like building Wadessa with some sort of strawberry sugar. It was, it was beautiful. We grabbed some and dropped them from rooftops as kids. Watched them spin, spin around. I did it all the time on the way home from school. I can't remember when we stopped, but we did one day. I don't remember why we stopped. But I look around now and I, I don't see any more pink feathers. We must have stopped when none were left. I wonder why I didn't realize as a child that they were all gone. Because now I always look for them on the ground. It was beautiful. What? Flamingos? You let the flamingos go, and now all we can eat are chickens. Not even chickens, just eggs. Why? Don't look at that guy. He's sniffing. What? My girlfriend goes to a different school. What? Okay, what? what? Wait, 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 wait. My girlfriend goes to a different school. Immediately you go into cooking. What is this? What is this? What is that? What, what is that? What is this? Spam? Is this spam? Is this like canned... Is this coined beef or like canned beef? What is this? I wonder what... Anchovies! No. That is, okay, this is, this is hard mode. You're kidding me, right? I, why in the can? I don't understand. Huh? Where's the tutorial for this? Where's the, where's the tutorial for the fish? Where is it? There's no way, there's no way. There's, uh, there's actually no way I'm gonna be able to do this. You have to do all of these? You have to do all of these. My mouse is so slow that I can't do it. It's so slow. And, this, and, and the game sounds so weird and crunchy and like laggy. What is going on? Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, just okay. Pop, 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 pop. Pop like a pimple. And then, <laughs> that was bad. Anchovies are much lighter. I wonder what other foods are very staple around where everyone lives, right? And like, how many common staples there are? Because recipes are very nice and all, but. I find recipes to like, you know, try what you want to eat. It's hard to know like what you can eat around the way you live sometimes. And if you're looking up recipes, right? I imagine you're looking at recipes because you don't necessarily know what goes into the process of like making the food and like you and like you want to learn, right? Or like or like you and, and like by the time you do know, it's like you don't mind having to try to find different ingredients with like much more effort or something. I wonder if there's like a universal recipe that you, you, you can do for like everything. There has to be, right? Uh, at some point, there has to be. Like eggs, I imagine, is like one, but like, is that true? Is there a place in the world where there are no eggs? Uh, rice, for instance. I always think of like rice as like a staple, but like, I'm Asian. So it's like, I, I have rice everywhere, right? So it's like, you know, is it really easy to get anywhere? I don't know. You never really know. Or like, uh, say like, um, lettuce. I only recently found out that not every place has lettuce. That McDonald's in, in particular has to make their, has to grow their own sometimes. In their own farms. Which is like, it's like nuts to me. It's like, wow. Because you would think it'd be, you know, fairly easy to find, but no, it's not. Oh boy. Oh boy, they're, they're, they're about to pop. Okay. What if... 
Who invented those 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 cans? Who invented them? You have a face on your chest. Do you feel it? In the air. I can smell it. The artificial gravity in this area is lacking. What? What I give to be little. But anyway, I can at least watch you sling. One. Two. No. You're easier than the anchovies. What? God, this music is so good. But something about the, about the playback makes it feel very, like, you know, weirdly crunchy. Like it's bugged almost. Oh No! I almost had it. I, I, I almost had it. I can do this one easily, I think. I was actually thinking of making cooking videos as at some point for, for the channel. Of like some of my like stuff that I like to, like to eat. But I always wonder like who would want to watch that, right? Because I'm not a fancy cook. It's not like a fan. It's not like I'm making something like like a very you know amazing. I'm like I would just be making like my spaghetti or my chili or like my Japanese curry, right? Or my dish that I don't know the, 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 the English name for it, right? Like it's... But it does seem fun to try. There's... Oh my god, there's less gravity. I forgot, there's less gravity. I forgot. Come on, flip. Okay, that's a bad flip. Okay, good. Okay, okay, I'm getting a feel for it. I'm getting a feel for it. A feel for it. Jiggle around, come on, heat up, heat up. Spin around, spin around, come on. Yo. Yo. Gravity! Isaac Newton, you ruined me. If he never does, if he never discovered gravity, I'd have cooked these eggs a long time ago. But there's like many food related ideas that I've had for the channel. That's like a fourth fun thing. But again, it's hard to imagine like what would be appealing to watch. Even watching someone cook like live, it's like not really watching them cook like live. But I've noticed with the cooking things and cooking shows in like general that I really like, is I like to listen to the person talk, right? Like Gordon Ramsay, I love watching Hell's Kitchen, not because I like watching them them cook necessarily, at least not like the entire time. It's mainly because of the weird drama that they force in in into the guts, very very forced. Oh my god. So it'd be hard to do a show like that, I think. There's some people that I think do it, do it, do it well. People who really know the history of a dish and like dive deep into it, and get into the the different mechanics behind it, but also like you know where it came from, what it represents for you know people who like eat it. I think stuff, stuff, stuff like that is cool. But I don't think I could do that justice, even for things I know fairly well, or that I grew up with. It'd be difficult. I can't, I just... There must be something easier. That's Please. There has to be something easier. Please. Why is my mouse right? That's doing so low. I can't do anything. I'm useless. These people are going to starve. Because I can't cook for them. At all. Ever. Yo. Ah, good to see you. You're a poultry cooker now. Shame. But after what you pulled last time you were here, it's fair. Why don't you try and leave my friend? We need you here. Now, more than ever with a guy over there taking forever to, to cook simple meat. What? Why the cigarette? Tell me, why the cigarette? Why? Why? Why the cigarette, please? Why? You want to ruin me, right? That's, that's why you're doing this. This girl I was with didn't know how to defrost meat. All you do is leave it alone? Well, yeah, but also not really. You also, like, if you, if you want to defrost something fast, you also need to put, like, you know, um, running water on it in the kitchen. Good to see you again, my friend. Will you take some meat off my hands? I hear stomachs whispering from across the room. And I'm, I, and I'm already way behind on this. Sage fry, I guess. Here's my meat. <laughs> Get both sides of that bacon. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? Come on. I hate this. 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 The worst part is I can't even eat it. I can't eat what I make in this game. It, it, it's impossible. You're not allowed to eat what you make in this game because this isn't real. If I could cook in a game and I get like a, like a batch of curry worst immediately, I would love that. But I don't get anything. I get nothing. I get pain. Oh, hey, hey, you guys want anything? Yeah. Who are you? Oh, sorry, hardly recognize the, uh, uh, that new cook augment that who got you hooked, you got hooked up with, yeah. You were a great guard. I was a guard? Who was I guarding and why? It's okay to ignore whatever they're about to say and tumultuous, uh, yep, 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 we're, we're hungry. What the fuck? All of us have a jar of honey in the bathroom. What does that even mean? You sure you should be handling eggs? Well, more than you, Mr. Honey Shitter. Cigarettes are the most agreeable way of ignoring life. What is this? When it comes to leftovers, I usually scrape the food onto a plate, microwave it, and then put the fork I use to scrape the food to, to scrape the plate into the sink. I do that too, actually. But it, it's weird, right? Because again, it does feel wasteful. It's fascinating to, to me though, because like, why would you do that, right? But to me, it feels like the, the, the fork is tainted almost, and like the, the cold food would ruin the cooked food, even though if I just stick it in, it'd be fine. What are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? What are you eating? Tell me, what, what are you eating? Tell me. Tell me, what are you eating? Tell me. Tell me. What are you eating? Tell me. <laughs> what the? Our weird? How should I say? Oh yeah, it's just our weird. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, not just uh, the weird or, or... Oh no, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or, like out, out weird. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a small mistake. Sorry, I just, uh, I've been so busy cooking eggs that, uh, you know, I forgot how to type. But welcome back. Welcome, welcome. As we egg cooking. Oh! Welcome back. I have now cooked a, my. This is my third egg cooked successfully. My third. I'm done. Mm! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. My third ever good egg. This is good for me, I think. They really don't make them like they used to. Looks like another interesting game. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Eggs and cigarettes. That's a real English breakfast. That's a good one. That's a good one. If a, if a, if a, if a, if a Hebasaurus wasn't here, they would probably agree. No one knows that I got uh, new curtains for my living room. What does that mean? What does that mean? Frontier Psychiatrist. Oh my god, so loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, so loud. Oh. Yo. I am not hungry. Or I would just never eat anything till you touched. No matter how gentle and tender. What? Why do I go back down here? This game is so buggy. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's also like, you know, a small free game, but... I don't want to talk to you, please. We're all hungry here. We pulled all of our reef money together. So we'd have a roommate feast. One guy was like, are you eating your roommate? The dumplings had shrimp in them. Didn't know that. Why is it so crunchy here? It's extra crunchy here. Oh my god, it's 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 anchovies. Oh no, they're gonna explode off, off the side because it's standing. Oh no, I think the anchovies might just blow up everywhere. No, you blocked my egg flip. How how dare you? Please! Why is it standing? Okay, good. Okay, good. Cook the egg, come on. We need to move move the egg more compared to everything else. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> I've only cooked for three people. 
There are 12 people that I need to cook for. 12. This is impossible. We can't do this for too long. Because I do want to get to the Power World cannibalism segment. Um, but we we may come back to this later as well. What do you what, 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 what do you expect was going to happen? No one leaves here. These people need us. Actually, not not in a corrupt way. I think. Huh. You were always destined to be a poultry prepper. Remember that time when there were fireflies? I still can never be sure if they were actually fireflies, but just like everyone lighting up a cigarette at the same time one night. How did I get over here? Wait, there's something behind there. There's even more stuff here. What? You. My dentist doesn't think I floss enough. What the fuck? I am almost certain that all dentists know of some sort of chemical that I could just swish around in my mouth and get rid of all the bacteria and shit that causes all the issues. Like mouthwash, but better. Did I say that? I'm not sure. I meant to say mouth. What the fuck? I'm dead. There's people- there, there, there's something behind there. There's stuff behind there. We have to go behind there. But I think we made the cut the segment short. Because uh, while this game is great, and while I would love to play the entire game to figure out what's like, going on, we need to continue onwards because we need to eat people in the like, power world before uh, it's too late. Because today is a shorter day for me. Sorry, my mouse sensitivity is so low and there's no way to change it. It's, it's very low. And I've been waiting to eat people and show you what my power world base looks like. And there's a much larger discussion to be had about that game that I want to talk about too. So we may have to leave it here, okay? This is a weird game. I really like this a lot. This is one of the weird games that we played, okay? This is probably one of the weirder games that we've ever played. Well, this and Juice Galaxy, okay? Those two are probably the weirdest. Juice World and Juice, or Juice Galaxy, I don't know which, had me speechless. This had me, um, had me, had me, had me, had me, had me, had me, uh, had me dopamineless. Had me dopamineless. Yes, I was dopamineless this entire time because there's no way that I can flip an egg and actually have it land properly. I've only cooked for three people here. But wow, is it good. If they could ever solve the crackling audio, audio issue that very much ruins the soundscape, which is so sad, I think they have a banger here, okay? And if you expand the concept even more to just cooking more things, I think it'd be even crazier. This makes you want to curl up in, like a, in, in the bed while watching, right? That's the exact vibe. It feels very cozy. It feels very weird and like broodless at the same time, but it makes this whole scene feel very homely, even though it shouldn't be. In a way, this is, you know, it feels like an, an apocalyptic scenario, right? And there's no way that life could sustain itself, and yet it feels so good, so smooth, so cozy. It feels good. They have something special here, and I, I really want to know what happens when we, when we free ourselves. I don't even, I can't even possibly imagine what the story is going to end up like. But I can't keep playing this, okay? We'll continue this next weird, this next time on a weird game segment, because I do want to beat the game fully. I'm going to practice flipping eggs IRL for next time we play this. But that's all for Arctic Eggs. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the music player disguised as a cooking game. And a very competent cooking game at that.